All right. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode um, of Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. We're playing on the Xbox, which apparently, uh, as I am to understand, something's wrong with the Xbox version. I believe it has some visual glitches or something. I'm not really sure. Uh, here's the deal. We're going to play on Expert. And it's going to be hard. Uh, I have a save that I have, I believe I've beaten. I might not have, actually. But we're not going to play... Oh, yeah, look at that. Um, Aragorn got perfect. Good. Unplayed. Fair. Good. Good. Perfect. Anyways. I have played this game. Uh, I've beaten it before. It's a fun game that I enjoy quite a bit. But... Hornberg and reach level 10 with Gimli. The secret mission is... What is it? It's... It's, uh... It's hard. I haven't actually unlocked everything there is to this game. Oh, be the secret mission with any... With a secret character. Any character, secret character. This is the secret codes. Secret mission, play as select character. Okay. Anyways, whatever the case. Yeah, whatever. Um, we're gonna start a new save, and we're gonna play on Expert. Oh, okay, I see what, I see, it was trying to ask me to save, yeah. Hopefully I don't accidentally overwrite that data. I'm used to there only being one, so I don't have to worry about it. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do, is we're gonna play on Expert. And I'm gonna do bad, because I have a hard time with this game, when it's not an Expert. Yeah, I want Expert. So, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully the game looks nice. I spent a long time trying to get it all set up. Something was wrong with one of my cords that I was using. And it was making the screen freak out and lose its marbles. Uh, one thing to note, I can't hear anything that's happening in the game, which is usually the case when I record um, anything. So, uh, if I talk over something happening, I'm sorry. It's not intentional if you're interested in what's going on. If you've seen Lord of the Rings and you know... I will say I hope that this this doesn't get claimed. I don't know what the deal is around these, but anyways, that would be bad. Regardless, again, thank you for tuning in. Um, the reason I'm playing Lord of the Rings: The Two Towers for the original Xbox is because this is my official announcement of it. I am making a video on this game, sort of, mostly, kind of. Well. Yeah, I'm making a video on this game. This is the old logo for the first one, I think. Or early on when they were doing the series. They changed it to the more thinned out one at some point. Uh, yeah, I like Lord of the Rings. I think Lord of the Rings is pretty freaking cool. They're talking about the, the, the rings. I believe that they had to do a recap of the first one in this one because they didn't have the rights to do the first one. Exactly. So for this game, they had sort of a, a summary. And they have the first level, I believe, is from the first movie. Uh, and that's what you get. I always love the art for the movies. Um, good movies, if you haven't seen them. It takes a long time to watch them, so I wouldn't think that you should watch them all in one sitting. And if you're going to, take breaks or else you'll friggin' die. You'll get like a blood clot and die. So avoid that. Some good, I believe that it qualifies as high fantasy. In fact, I believe it sets the benchmark for what qualifies as high fantasy. I could be wrong. Don't get me wrong. I could be wrong. But yeah. How did, how did he get that on his finger? How did he get that around the metal prongs? I don't know. I asked my fiance if I could have the one ring for my uh, wedding ring. And she said she'd... She'd look into it, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, babe, but that'd be pretty great. I wouldn't be upset with having the one ring. These look nice. Look at those yellow eyes. Look at those pretty yellow eyes. I believe... I could be wrong. I think you're playing... I think in the first level you play as Isildur? Isildur? I don't remember his name. You're not playing as anybody... You know, uh, you're not playing as Aragorn, Gimli, or 
Um, you know, Legolas, who's like my favorite. Yeah, so I actually just beat the other, the Return of the King the other day. I think that was for the first time. I don't think I'd beaten it before. Um, it's fun. I like that one a lot. I might like this one more. I don't really know why. I'm pretty sure that Return of the King is considered better. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Uh, I haven't looked into it too much. Whatever the case, they're both fun. They're very similar games. And that's actually what we're going to talk about. When I said I'm making a video on the two towers, I'm actually going to be making a video in the same vein as that Zelda 2 video I made a while back. And that is five games. I think it was the Zelda 2 game. I think it, it might have been 10 for Zelda 2, but definitely... Definitely can only find five for this anyway. But yeah, the idea is basically five games like the two towers for the Xbox. That was the tricky part. For one, I don't even think they make games like this anymore or they did before it. So it would have had to have been in that generation anyway. But man, did I like the two towers and I wanted to, to personally find more games like it. And then I decided, hey, if I'm already doing it, why not? make a thing, make a video. I almost couldn't do it, and it almost wasn't five, but I found another game that I felt was cla classified as similar, you know? So I decided to go ahead and make it. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I guess I don't have arrows, not with, uh, not with this guy. Was it Isildur? I don't remember. I, I also don't know how to say his name. I don't know how to say a lot of their names. The most familiar I'm with with the Lord of the Rings is from these two games. So, don't want to offend anybody there, but that's just the case. Not that I don't like the movies. I've seen all the movies, but not for a while. I should watch them again, but, you know. Fierce Attack is really good. This might... I don't know. This might look better than Return of the King on the, uh, the Xbox, honestly. Return of the King's got, like, kind of... I don't know. They might be about the same. They seem like they're pretty close. Whatever the case, they're both really dark and murky games, so... It's one of those situations where they can kind of get away with things being a little blurry because it like doesn't matter what they look like. Uh, in the end, they communicate effectively what they want to, and that's pretty good. Uh, whatever the case, fun game. I am not going to spoil any of the games that I've come up with, but when I googled something along the lines of games that are like this game, like something I should try, I didn't find anything, and it was in that that I decided, well, I guess that I'm gonna make something for people to find, because... Man oh man, if you like this kind of game, then you'd be disappointed, because it's not like information out there about it. So this will be fun. Uh, yeah. It was in this moment. You know what else is fun, though? The uh, Lord of the Rings Conquest. That's a fun, very fun game for the Xbox 360 uh, and the PS3, I think. I know it was on the 360 because that's what I had it on. Regardless, that's a fun game. I would note that... What was I going to say? It's a lot like... Star Wars Battlefront, like the original two, but like Lord of the Rings. The enemy. So, if you like that kind of thing, then you would probably enjoy it. Or at least that's how I remember about it. It's a lot like that. Pretty fun. He's just gonna put that ring on. I think I'll keep it. Don't keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm not him. I promise. That's what I remember he says. I can't really hear anything. If there's a subtitles option, I'll turn it on so I can see what's going on, but yeah. It is Isildur. Again, don't know how to say it. I'll get a, I'll upset people. Isildur? I don't know. Trying different ways is a guarantee that I will say it wrong. I got a perfect. Wow, this game's generous. Haha, <laughs> nice try. I don't want to overwrite my old, old data. 04, 05, 19. So that's today. I wonder what it said before I loaded it initially. I'm curious. 
X is parry, Y is a fierce attack, A is a quick attack, and B is a uh, physical attack. I mean, they're all physical, but when I say that, I mean something more along the lines of a kick or a push or a shove or, you know, arm barge, <laughs> something like that. All eyes and guard is empty. It is an army of bread for one purpose. Oh, look at those orakai. Man, look at those orakai. They're ugly. In case anyone was wondering what's going on, how did the Eye of Sauron get into that torch? That's insane. I think this is the level with Frodo. I think that's what this is. Yeah. You gotta protect him. He's kind of a little hobbit person. This mechanic, I don't believe, comes up anywhere else in the entire game. With the, uh, having to go and you can only hurt them whenever... Yeah, you have fire, and yeah, having to go get more fire and stuff. I don't think this happens anywhere else in the entire game, which is interesting, but it is kind of a fun, I don't know, like, mechanic in general. I'm not opposed to it. Yeah, he's dead. All right. He's hard to kill, man. These guys are hard to kill in this, in this uh, difficulty. You can't really hurt them whenever you're... Uh, not using dang the fire so you kind of have to keep it on you oh yeah in the bottom left in case anyone's not familiar with the mechanics of this game the way that th i'm dead dang the way that that works is that it determines for well in this game you actually level up like in an rpg and that's kind of neat because you get new abilities and stuff for when you're fighting. You can actually use them. Like I said, this is going to be a tough, tough fight through. I don't know if we'll do the whole thing like this, but I am going to try, and it'll be fun. Alright. You have to use a Y attack on them because he doesn't hit them with the fire unless you use Y. So what I was saying before is that that is on the bottom there kind of like a combo meter you can see when it gets full it gives you a perfect rating like it puts you in that mode and when it's not full you just you just do normal it's i think it i think it's easier to kill people in perfect if i remember correctly that's the way definitely the way it works in the next one uh, i don't want to die again i kind of want to avoid that there might even be fewer levels overall in the next game. Honestly, I'm not totally sure. All right, that time that one died. There's going to be more, though. I definitely think so. Don't put it... No, don't put it on. That's... No, that's bad for you. That's bad for your soul. Why does it matter? Can't they see him anyway? I, th I think that's a thing. Leave him alone. He's my fire. I played the Return of the King on hard mode, and I did eventually beat it, so we're going to have to see. Um, this is the one I've probably played much more in the grand scheme of things, but definitely not as recently as the other one. I just did the other one the other day, and I hadn't played this one in a few years. Uh, overall, I think I've played this one much more, though, because I've owned it before this on the GameCube. And then... I believe... Yeah, and I played it for like years on the GameCube. Eventually, I had the copy stopped working. In fact, I like that game so much on the GameCube, I still have it, even though it doesn't work at all. Kind of just have it for fun. Uh, I've tried several times to like kind of get it fixed, like you know, with uh, uh, some sort of. <laughs> Full. If you're not careful with what abilities you buy when, it could make the game way more difficult than it needs to be because you cannot replay levels with the same person once you've already beaten them. 
So there is a bit of a strategy to going through it. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm just gonna go for the I like. Hopefully that works out for me. I don't remember if that worked out in the past. I just, you know, you can beat any of them. Is that Faramir? Is that who that is? The one there? Because... You can definitely unlock him in the next game, too. I believe in this game you can unlock Gandalf. Pretty much just Gandalf. But he's fun to play as. Because who doesn't like Gandalf? God, whoa, smooth transition. I never even known unless I'd have known going in. That that was so smooth, I couldn't even have really told. Yeah, no, this game's kind of got a original Xbox look to it. And the other thing, too, is that it's... Yeah, I say original Xbox look. Yeah, so, I, see, I leveled up there, so now I'll be able to buy... I got a perfect on that one, too. Wow. I'll be able to buy new abilities, which is going to be good, because they are necessary. This is 100% necessary to beating the game, but I don't have enough for it, so we're going to go with, what is the, is this the, okay, so you start with these. You need that one. <laughs> so I'm glad you start out with all of these. I like how you, they, they, I don't know, it's just funny that they're considered abilities, the basic abilities. Rush attack is pretty important. Isildur's Swift Terror. That's the move I used a bunch. That one's also good. Ranger Fury. <sighs> mm, I'm so close to being able to buy two of these. Yeah, this is 10,000. That's a lot. I'm gonna have to choose my battles here. If I could get Rising Attack, I would, but I can't, so I'm gonna go with... Mmm... Pretty sure you'll get most of the advantage of this move with this one. Because you get the AB, you just don't have to finish it. So we're going to do that. And we're going to move on because we can't do anything else. Yep. I do want to save my game. I want to save it. Oh, that's helpful. It puts the most recent one at the top, so I don't have to worry about accidentally overwriting it. Yay! Oh, that saves fast, too. This is good. I might try to do one more level, and then... Gates of Moria. We'll see how that goes. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Aragorn's not my favorite character. Probably Legolas, as far as playing, is. But I do believe he's the best character, as far as it goes. Um, I don't think that there's balance. Gimli is also pretty good. It seems like it's a lot easier to win with Aragorn, though, than it is for other characters. So, for the sake of my sanity and yours, we're going to play as him. Jump back is the black button. The white button doesn't do anything. Um, okay. Nothing too unexpected. Who doesn't like Orlando Bloom, though, man? He's great. That fails. Well. I'll have to be quick if I'm going to do this level. I don't think we'll have time. I'll probably pause it in a sec. Yeah, this level's long. I'll pause it in a sec here, and then we'll hop back in uh, in the next video. Sound good to everybody? Whew. This land has changed. We shall wait here until the path beyond appears. In case you're curious, you don't play as Gandalf the Grey. You play as Gandalf the White. I know, they're not the same, except they are. Yeah, see, look, you get the rush attack. You can, you get it for free with, with that move. That's what that is. So I don't understand why it costs a different amount of money, like it's a different move, because it's certainly not, as far as I know, at least. many of them. Both needed to be stabbed. Dang, that was death, man. That was deadly. Stop hitting me. I definitely don't want it. Well, that does do damage, even though he's standing up still. 
Yeah, uh... I keep stabbing, even when it's not necessary. It's important to me that they're dead. Whatever the case, though, um... We're gonna end this episode right here in the middle of this level. And thank you. I, I, I gotta stop stabbing so many people that are already dead. Thank you so much for watching. Please tune in the next episode to see what happens next. I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna go into the mines. We're gonna find some cool stuff. That was a health, health pickup. You get neat little potions. So that's fun. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode. Tune in next time to see what happens next. Jesus loves you, so do I. Tune in next time.